Good morning, I'm James Lopez, president at HomeFi Corporation, and this is today's mortgage and real estate market update. Now, right off the bat, first thing I wanna say is a very, very special happy birthday to a very special woman in my life, uh, Angie Wright, happy birthday, uh, love you, babe. Um, and news today, mortgage bonds are up about six basis points at the time of recording. 10-year yield treasury is down about three basis points at the time of recording. Now, bonds are looking to continue their rally that they've um, been on the last couple of days, but they're really stuck right in between support and resistance. Um, so they could go either way. What that means for mortgage rates this morning, mortgage rates are going to open up about the same as where they left off yesterday. And there's some news coming out today. We'll talk about that in a few minutes that could affect rates, uh, but we'll give you a little bit more detail on that in just a few minutes. Now, yesterday, the NBA released their mortgage application data for the week, uh, for the for last week. And this data showed that purchases, uh, purchase applications were up 1%, but they're still down 10% year over year. Interest rates were reported at 4.8%, which is about 1.5% higher uh, than they were at this time last year. Uh, refinances were down about 15% uh, week over week and down about 60% year over year. Um, refinances made up about 41% of all transactions um, on the previous week. Now, seeing the purchase uh, applications increase um, is, is good news and it's you know it could be that the initial shock of the interest rates going up because they went up pretty quick that initial interest rate shock could be kind of wearing off now we know there's a lot of factors that are coming into play in the real estate market you know we've got inventory we've got high home prices we've got interest rates that are higher so all these factors are coming into play but we also have rents that are up as well so as we kind of continue to move into our, our stronger purchase season we expect to see purchase applications increasing. Um, we do expect to see the cyclical um, amount of inventory coming on the market. We do expect to see some more inventory coming on the market in the coming weeks and months. And so the, the purchase market should continue to stay strong. Um, and so that's kind of what we're expecting here in the next couple of months. Now, later on today, um, in other news, um, the, the PCE uh, report, which is uh, the Fed's favorite um, favorite measure of inflation, if you will, is going to be released later today. And that PC report, the, the headlines are already built into the market right now. But if they come in any different than what's expected, it could be a market mover for the rates in one way for interest rates and mortgage bonds one way or another. So if that happens, uh, we'll let you know if, if we're repricing for the better or for the worse. We'll be sure to let you know. Now, that's all the news that we have for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment, um, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then head over to Facebook, uh, ADP Report, the Jobs Report. We're going to be sharing some data on Facebook on the ADP Jobs Report um, in an infographic. So you want to take a look at that and make sure you like that. Hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Angie, and we'll see you tomorrow.